everybody this is Anna with Adventures with Anna welcome back to my craft room I thought I would show you real quick the only project that I have finished this past week now you've seen the beginning of it because I was so super excited about it I had to share it with you guys I finished it and I'm not real sure that I like it now there's a couple reasons why I don't think I like it and I think I know how I might be able to solve that problem but let me show you the hat. If you remember, I showed you a couple days ago a Tunisian uh, in the round hat that I had started. It was a lavender color and white, top down. And I decided to experiment and try putting the full stitch in with just the regular simple Tunisian. Now it looked really cool, but I ran into some problems besides running out of yarn. But that's okay. I don't have any of the purple left. Actually, I had a a little bit left but it wasn't enough to go all the way around the hat maybe about three quarters of the way so I finished it off with a white and I also used some eyelash some white eyelash yarn I've used it a couple times before in some other projects I thought I would like it I thought it would give me a warm fuzzy feeling for the hat but it just didn't it didn't do much like I said I'm not real thrilled with the hat but I'm sure somebody will be super excited about it so let me scoot over and let me move foam head in. Foam head does have a stand, if you remember. It's been a while, but when my fan quit, I discovered that the pole that the fan was sitting on was the perfect size for foam head. So nice. Anyway, let's get foam head over here. <coughs> Sorry. Here's foam head. Like I said, I started top down, just my normal top down hat. I decided to do some full stitch in the middle. And then I did some more simple Tunisian at the bottom, or no, at the bottom, right after that. And then I finished it off with a half double crochet. I did one row of just regular, the lavender, and then the rest of it is the white with that fuzzy, you can kind of see the fuzzy eyelash yarn that I put with it. Now the, the two things that I don't like about this hat, number one, can you guys help me get this up a little closer? I don't like the way that this looks. This is where I went from, you know, using one color and then using the opposite color, which was my return stitch for the next color. And I did goof in here, so I have an extra stitch. Can you guys spot it? <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, but that's beside the point. I'm going to try and solve that problem. The other thing that I don't really care for on this hat, the foam head over here, is the way that it's shaped. Now I'm, I'm real picky about my hats, but it's kind of got, if you look, it kind of comes down and whoop, bows out. Part of it I know is because I went from Tunisian to regular crochet. However, it appears that this part here is much tighter than the top part of the hat. Now, I don't know how that happened or why that happened or what caused it. This That's weird. I did not change hooks. I used the same H double-ended hook all the way through. I even used it for this here, which is really weird. I have tails. I always have tails on hats. But anyway, I used that same H hook, which is kind of weird using a double-ended hook to do just regular crochet. The other thing I don't like about this is it fits me really tight. And I think it's this part right here that is the tight part. Like I said, I'm not real sure what happened exactly. So, I'm going to try again. I will go ahead and it looks kind of like a bell or something. I don't know. It's just kind of weird shaped. But like I said, I'm sure somebody will thoroughly enjoy this hat. But I'm going to try again. I'm going to put this in my bucket, which I can't because you guys are sitting on it. But I'm going to put this in my bucket, my donation bucket, and I'm going to try again. Now I asked you guys a couple of days ago what color combinations you would like for me to try with the full stitch. And thank you to those who have watched my video. I know it's just been a few days I'm sure I'll get even more comments, but thank you to those who have watched my video and commented 
their color preference of what I try. I did have a second recommendation other than the colors that I had decided on, which I was going to go with either the, what color is this? Vibrant Orange and Camouflage. Or I'd also thought about Buff and Camouflage. The other color combination that I thought about was, whoops, get back up there, this metallic black and this pink. Ooh, that is much better today than it was last time. Last time this looked kind of washed out and lavender-ish, but metallic black and pink. Or the other recommendation that I had for one of my viewers is using the metallic black and the vibrant orange. I like that combination too, but majority rules. And I'm going to go with the pink and the metallic black. Now what I think I'm going to do whoops, is put my yarn back on the shelf so that I can turn back around and talk to you guys properly. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is go bottom up on this instead of top down. I also think that for my ribbing part, which on this hat, I'm going to do just the regular Tunisian and I'm probably going to do like the Tunisian simple and the Tunisian pearl and do at least an inch ribbing of just that right here with one color. I don't know which probably go with the pink. As the outside stitch and the black is a return stitch that's my thinking at this point but I'm going to do that and then once I get that done like I said this is going to be in the round I'm going to change hooks I'm going to do this with my H hook and I think I'm going to change hooks to my I hook because I think this the uh, full stitch here I don't think has as much I don't know it feels like it has give what do you guys think it feels like it has quite a bit of give when I changed back, it got like super tight again. And I've never noticed a problem with my simple stitch not having that much give. So I think maybe what I'll do, at least for the body part of the hat, when I do my attempt to do my full stitch, I'm going to switch to my eye hook or bigger size hook to do that part. When I get to the top, I don't know if I'm going to try and continue the full stitch up and finish it off or if I'm going to do like the simple Tunisian like I did on this one. But this next hat will have more full stitch, at least for the body of the hat. So that is my next goal. I do still have that other Tunisian hat that I showed you that I have not worked on at all. I was too busy working on the purple one. I've got this one. I haven't touched it. The other thing I think I would like to work on this week is my cross stitch kitty cat. But we will have to see what happens and how much time I actually have. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to go experiment with this. I'm excited. And I will see you guys in my next video.